Fortnite is one of those games that takes many skills to master. You need to be able to build, edit, you need to be able to think on the fly, and basically anything else from a regular FPS shooter. But one thing that gets overlooked a lot of days, and you know, just in life in general, is your confidence. Confidence, 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 man. That's what it's really all about. Because in reality, this concept doesn't just apply to Fortnite, but really every game you could think of. Regardless if your goal is to actually get better at Fortnite or become one of the top players, then we absolutely need to break it down on how to gain some more confidence. Come on now. We love confidence. We need confidence, man. We need it. That's why, my friends, today we're going to be taking a look at one of our favorite pro players, none other than our guy, Mongrel. What's going on, guys? It's the Motivation Guy. And that's right, it's time to build confidence in life, man. You need this to succeed in everything that you do. I believe in you guys. I'm rooting for you guys to be the most confident people, not to be cocky, but to be humble while doing it, man. Connect with me as soon as you can on my Instagram. I would love to hear from you guys. We're posting a vids to inspire you to be the best, not only in this game, but also in life. You can do it. I don't care what's ahead of you. You can jump over it and you can keep climbing up the mountain to the top. You're going to be super successful, okay? This is a really, really special video for me. You know, I know we've all tried to work on our confidence playing this game, but when you get into a scenario and you don't really know what to do, I'm telling you right now, it seems like your boy Mongrel always has the answers. If you guys are looking to get better at Fortnite, you know, you got to click the link below to go to ProGuys.com where you can play with the best players in the world. Sign up for our membership at ProGuys. You're going to get a ton of incredible content from the best pro players like Benji and Mongrel. So if you want to compete in Fortnite, you have to check out ProGuys.com and be sure to drop a like on this video to show your support. We really would appreciate that. All right, so the first thing that you're going to need to do if you want to become a confident player, you got to have a plan in mind. Yeah, that's right. Like, what is your plan? Can you think about that for one second? What is your plan? Now, this one, which I'm sure all of you guys should be able to do at some point, isn't really the hardest step in the books. But when it comes to having high levels of confidence, it is absolutely crucial that you got to nail this one, man. Let me quickly break it down, what I mean to have a plan in mind. Because everybody's like, all right, like, what does that mean, having a plan? It doesn't mean to just quickly think of the first thing that you can do and then do it. What it does mean is that you're going to have to analytically think about all your options and quickly weed it down just to one. And I say emphasis on quickly here, not in slow motion. All right. So remember, guys, in Fortnite, you could do whatever you want. It's an open world. You know what I mean? You're free. You can run around. You could jump off the building to your eventual death. You know what I'm saying? You could do a backflip. A path that I personally do not recommend. Trust me. I know fall damage is a real thing from experience. <laughs> it sucks. It really, really does. I hate it. It always sends you back to the lobby. I wish it didn't, but it does. But seriously, man, if there are multiple valid options you guys can take in a game, I can totally see why that might be intimidating. The fact that you might make a mistake in choosing the right decision is intimidating. I get it. I know. But the truth of the matter is, if you guys are watching this video to begin with, I know that you guys already have some type of experience with decision making. I'm going to go on a limb. And I'm going to say that you're probably not just like fresh out of the box, like a bot. I, I, I believe in you. I, I really, really do. Oh, yeah. And uh, even if you guys are like not very comfortable with your decisions, it's OK. It's cool. I love you. All right. I got something for you. We have multiple videos on this channel regarding decision making. So check them out. Like not right now, but like like later after this video, the link is down below. I also want to let you guys know that we're going to be announcing the winner of our $5,000 V-Bucks giveaway. My goodness. On one of our future videos. So you got to stay tuned for that. So if you're new and have no idea like what we're talking about, like what is Keith Allen saying? All you got to do is just subscribe to this channel and comment Pro Guides giveaway down below. Step one is already done. OK, so you figured out what decision you're going to make. So here is step number two. Just go for it. It's really that simple. When you make a decision, hesitating is actually more likely to put you in an even worse position than just doing what you originally planned. Now, don't get me wrong, if something happens in the game, all right, that forces you to change the original plan, you just got to go with that, all right? I'm not telling you to be stubborn. I'm not telling you to always go with your first instinct no matter what. I'm just telling you, you got to have a little bit of faith in your decision and just roll with it, all right? I could even list the amount of times that I made a really good plan in my head, but I took way too long to get it going. And that small window of time between when I thought about doing something and when I actually ended up doing it is what actually cost me my life. Not like for real, for real, just like in the game. I'm still alive. Now, go think back to yourself. Was there ever a time? that you were thinking about going for a kill, but you took too long just to do it. And has it ever backfired on you? Probably yes. Surely a lot of you guys raise your hands on this one, man. I know because it's happened to me so many times, I have lost count. But that's all going to change today, my friends, because we're going to be changing your fundamental strategy going into the next game. The next time that you jump into the battle bus, all right, you're going to be more confident than ever before because of these next two steps, making a quick yet thoughtful decision and just going for it. 
No, you're not going to become a brain dead player by using this strategy, all right? This is just giving yourself that extra little push you desperately need in order to go to the next level. Who wants to go to the next level? Come on now. Pro players make decisions and execute them within a matter of seconds. And I need to get you on that level as well, all right? So buckle up because we're about to go take a look at a couple of examples from Mongrel. I'm going to walk you guys through just how he masters the two-step plan with ease. All right, so the first clip we're going to be taking a look at is when Mongrel and Benji Fishy were doing a 2v2 Zone Wars Rager. I really like looking at box fighting for our first clip because it just gives you a really contained environment where you don't have to worry about external third-party pressure or anything like that. We're just talking about a few raw mechanics, right? Two guys going up against another two guys just dueling it out. It's a really good way to allow Mongrel to show off his mechanics and just show how quickly he's able to pounce on his instincts. The reason why I wanted to show you guys this clip specifically is due to the fact that Mongrel got chipped down for over 50 health before the fight even really got started. He obviously backs off to take a fish and heal himself back up to full, but at this point a lot of players would have been super hesitant, being like a little slow to get back into the fight right away. I know if somebody hits me pretty hard, I mean I know they mean business, but no, Mongrel doesn't think like that. Like I said, the differences between pro players and ourselves, oh my god, it's night and day, and this is just one of them. Mongrel keeps his foot on the gas, and he takes advantage of the fact that his opponents overextend, and thus are a little bit vulnerable. Although he just got hit, Mongrel instantly wants to get back into the fight and chips his opponent right back from another angle for over 50 damage. So, just right here, I mean right here, in this snapshot, Mongrel and Benji went from being slightly behind to being slightly ahead, in part from utilizing this confident approach. Even with the external pressure of having been hit really hard right at the start, he sees an angle that will get them free damage and he takes it right away, creating a plan, yes, and then acting on it right away. Wow, sounds like the blueprint is right in front of our eyes. Manga would go on to get multiple rounds of damage on the same person as he saw the chance to get free damage, seizing the opportunity. And you guys already know what happens when you do over 200 damage to an opponent, they get knocked. Now, we're in a 2v1 situation now that the opponent simply cannot get out of. Hopefully because we're in this contained environment, you guys can see how quickly the tides can turn if you are just confident and make the counterplay as quickly as possible. If Mongo doesn't go for that shot as soon as he did, the opportunity might have slipped through his hands. The next scenario we're going to be looking at, my friends, is a complete 180 from the box fighting example. We're going to be taking a look at Mongo's half and half out zone rotation. Everyone knows that a half-in and half-out zone is absolutely terrible to rotate through due to the fact that it could go in any corner. If you're on the wrong side of RNG, my friends, my friends, I wish you the best of luck. A clean zone rotation is one of the most important concepts to have high confidence with. The reasoning is very simple, all right? Let me break this down. You need to move extremely quick while also making the best decision possible. Both of these have to be checked off in order for you to not get stumped in your rotation. And I don't think I can find a better example in the world than Mongrel's early rotations, just like this one you're gonna see. Okay, so we find Mongrel studying the map right as the zone is closing to get a better idea of where he needs to go. The moment that the zone closes in, he's instantly thinking and formulating a plan for the squad. He actually communicates. He says, we need to go on top of these build and get into zone. Not three seconds later, he's making an edit out and going for it, commanding his team once again that we need to move now. Not only did he make the right decision in choosing his rotation plan, but also the speed at which he was able to get in front of all the late rotators allowed them to get in with a nearly no damage taken. Guys, did you see how many people are alive at this point in the game? 40. The answer is 40 people. This game is more stacked than you think, but Mongrel makes it look so easy by doing both of these affirmation steps. And I'm gonna admit this, all right, Benji Fishy did get sniped in the back, but I'm gonna chalk that one up just due to him rotating a little bit later than Mongrel. If he had just stuck to Mongrel and boxed up right when Mongrel did, I think there would have been 100% clean rotation. But even with that little bit of damage taken, it's still way above average compared to a later rotate and being vulnerable to an entire lobby's worth of AR and grenade spam. Okay, so let's briefly go over what we need to do again. First, you gotta make a good plan. All right, you gotta make a good plan. When a good plan comes to mind, you gotta execute it as soon as you can. If something happens in game, you know what? No worries. I just want you to have faith in making a good decision quicker. We saw two examples from Mongrel where he used high levels of confidence in both a micro box, fight situation, and macro zone rotation to get exactly what he needed. Less risk and higher reward is the goal, my friends, and Mongo does it without even skipping a beat. In reality, you know, it all comes down to confidence. You got to follow these steps and maybe watch a little more of like Mongo's stream and hit the battle bus to put it all into practice. All right. I believe in you guys. I really, really do. But the real question is, do you believe in yourself? Like, really? Do you?
All right, guys, once again, it's the Motivation Guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my Instagram. I'm posting up vids to inspire you to not only to be great in this game, but also to be great in life, all right? We really hope you enjoyed the video today. Don't forget to use code PROGUYS when you make any sort of purchases. You know, it just really helps us out, and we really do appreciate it. Comment down below what you guys thought about this video and what you like to see next. We aim to bring you guys daily quality content, so do us a favor by liking this video video, subscribing to the channel, and show ProGuys.com some love for bringing you this video. All right, guys, we'll see you later.